Well, Bud Light um, has become the poster boy for brand mismanagement from multiple perspectives. So let, let me lay it out for you because th these th the discussions that have arisen and the narrative that's arisen around Bud Light is probably a good lesson for every CEO in every sector of the economy. Number one, it highlights the power of social media. This, this issue went viral in 48 hours. Yeah. And most often when an issue goes viral like that, it burns out in another 48 hours. But that's not what happened here. The story and narrative changed to sales. And so people that did not like the message, regardless of where you stand on these social issues or gender narrative or whatever, they took it out by basically boycotting the product mm. immediately yeah. and switching preference to other brands that did not make them get involved in this issue. Now, if you're trying to manage that and trying to learn something from it, and I certainly talked to all my CEOs about this because here we are talking about it in its second month. Yeah. This is a nightmare from hell for the brand. You have to ask yourself in crisis management, what do you do? Because if you go to the other side and try and balance the gender narrative, you're going to get a whole new onslaught of people yeah. that don't like that. So when you go into gender narrative on a beer, which is primarily consumed by men, maybe you should have thought a little bit about that in reading that room. Maybe you should say, well, does this really fit my consumer's psyche and narrative?